Well, that's okay. Short little assassin runs. Get ourselves a little bit of money before we go on. Now to be FNF fan. Try to find something interesting. Like a pacifist. Always find pacifists interesting. Even when they're not. A clumsy pacifist. Alright. Well. After this, we should probably look for some characters that could beat them on. It'd be nice if I could um, finish New Game Plus 12 before I finish day. I'm really not moving towards it. Alright. Stiggy and steady plan. Most of the enemies here do not attack you. They just sit there and wait for you to attack them. Alright, clumsy. Oh, right. Well, close enough. Faith. If I find any meat, I get rewarded. Always lucky. Alright. I mean, if I can find a weapon, I can leverage this into um, beating the mini bosses to unlock Enoch. So. Head that way. Yep. So we found gone heads. Great. Yeah, if I enter there, it will just I have to I have to just leave because I'll get killed. All right. Well, not many paths. Just like one path up in the corner. I won't go somewhere where there are many paths forward. I love this. The pacifist weapon doesn't trigger nightmares. How am I supposed to get through? Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize it was explosive. I've just like, push it out of the way. That's how I'll get through that. Also, wait, I didn't deal damage. Why did it explode? Uh. Alright, hold up, we have a bot to ban real fast. Alright. Ban. Alright. There we are. For the eventuality. Be amazing once we get there. <gasps> that was pizza, and I missed it. Because to me, it blended in. But yeah, like. They could do that with the armor, with fire, so that the fire doesn't actually apply damage. Why can't they just have the damage dealing, um. Like, all passives active, and then the damage dealing passives just have that effect. That I don't understand. Heck, they could even have damage dealing spells be fine. Yeah. When you can't fight enemies, that becomes a bit harder to maneuver through. Get 
33 HP from that. Oh, targets are considered enemies. Yeah, I love the Jester cartwheels instead of just spins. Yep. Definitely. Beautiful little theme that they do. I have to go this way. I'm pretty sure nothing could. This is considered a story room, so. For the inevitability. Works great with Amaterasu's son. Alright. Meat. Always lucky. Alright. Alright. I'll head down from there. Okay. Sounds good. I'm gonna feel a sneeze coming on. Hopefully that doesn't interrupt me. Because when you feel a sneeze coming on, it means you will you do not need a sneeze. It just means... You're gonna have to suffer for a few minutes. Warg's scary, man. Ooh. I think we don't mess with that. For when the day comes, we are a monster. Believe. It's dangerous to be a believer at this low of health. And yet I am. Please, I call upon you. Grace us with your presence, oh beloved meat. Truly deadly. died there. Damage relics is a pacifist. Yep. This is why. This is why. <sighs> Got a bad weapon, though. Very dangerous. So this lean has no knockback, and it forces you to dash forward. Oh, it has knockback now? Did they add that recently? I wouldn't be surprised if they did.
And anyways, if you were wondering why I took damage rocks, it looks cool and that has to count for something. I don't want to just look cool, I want to be cool. Can I reach it? Nope. Alright. We're gonna leave that one be. Sorry, but we have the coolest talent already. Do I face them all with this character now? Because this character has a fourth 60% health or whatever it is. So... Yeah, exactly. Like, I do like that it's a strength-based weapon. I do think it's a cool item. I just think it could be stronger without issue. Alright, well, we have a weapon, everyone. And thus, the pacifier. In case, yeah, in case anyone doesn't know, the trait itself changes. Pacifier, playtime is over, still has the, my 60% health, but no longer has the rest of the traits effects. Definitely has a great area of effect. It might be fine even without the knockback, just because of its insane area of effect. But definitely is an awkward weapon. And cannot, that cannot be denied. Because of the force dash forward. I could, um, do that, basically, to constantly bounce off of Nama's head, but I'm not sure I can do that consistently enough on a boss for me to take the risk. Alright. Yeah, look how slight that knockback is. There's a chest over there we can actually get to. There's a chest over there we can now get to. Alright, so that does knock it back. That's good. Ooh. Playtime is slay time. I feel like it's more... Playtime is... Sl um, slay time is playtime. Hmm. Because I feel like... Um, slay time is a bit less overarching than play. A lot of things are play. Only so many things are slay. But nonetheless. Nonetheless. Whoop. We 
clear this area out? I mean, other than enemies, but we're fixing that. Did you narrowly avoid this projectiles, or does that weapon actually make you do immune? I narrowly avoided them. Yeah, this weapon does not have any additional immunity. It just charges you forward, and you just have to deal with the consequences. Alright. Oh, I know where this chest is. I know why I couldn't get it earlier. Ooh, this is going to be a scary... There we are. Great. Let's go to the Stygian study. Didn't I unlock... Oh yeah, this would be a great character to fight Gonheads with. Like, we have all this lasting damage. million everyone since we're a million though the fence on the portal was because you'd be in the mini boss already not because the pacifists or they were really saying ha oh i could have gone in as the pacifist it would have let me go in as a pacifist as far as i understand i couldn't have done anything i'd basically get myself killed if i i'd have to return to main menu or die to escape but i'm pretty sure the game lets you enter as pacifist has no qualms with you doing it Damn it right, you can almost stay above the enemy and attack left, right, left, right, left, right, over and over again. Ooh. Yep. I have a funny that they try to idiot-proof things like the entrance to Mundi, but then they apparently also let you enter a boss as someone incapable of attacking. Oh, uh, yeah. I really wish they could just, like, it's a preference of mine that, you know, their design goals don't align with mine and that's okay sort of thing. I think idiot-proofing is, like, a mistake. Let idiots be idiots. And they'll learn from just playing and dealing with the consequences of their actions. Uh, I guess it's useful if you want to train dodging? I'm gonna keep this around. Um, I hear there's some- I hear that weapon's amazing. 
And I probably I feel more comfortable using that to face a boss than using this to face a boss. So I might I'm gonna keep the fact that we have pizza right here. A knowledgeable theme. Alright. So first things first, increase our max health. Just all the status effects. You know what? Yes. Let's train it, because I need this for the boss fight anyways. Ah, that's why the pizza is so powerful to people. Because you can leave it flying around. Ah, uh, that's why the pizza is so powerful. There's literally nothing below me. Try the pizza for a bit. What spell do we want, guys? I want something that does stop projectiles. Yeah, That's not it, but hey. Super crit, adding vulnerable to the stack of penalties. Oh, you weren't dead. I was certain you already died. Ooh. It's a more. Alright. Armor. Get ready to get your teeth kicked in. Pizza man! Greatest thing about clumsy. You can just dash through those. No need to care about spikes at all. Oof. Oh my gosh. I hit the dash button and then I saw it and I let go, but sometimes the let go is delayed. And nope, so I try. All right, if I can find some pizza.
I have a feeling that the wall spikes do not count for that. So, I'm being extra cautious under that assumption. Yeah, that was cool. All right. Well, I think with that, with that show, it is time for our pizza to go find a nice woman who makes all the condiments and other ingredients that we need to create it. The Lady of Life. Nama. All right. And this also fully heals us, which is another reason why this is a good idea. Ah, uh, it's by one. But yeah, look at that damage. Might we just be able to damage boost through them off because of that? Ooh. gonna try to damage boost through her, but might be able to. Look at that! Yep, basically. Well, we beat Nama with a pacifist. Nama, cook this pizza? Nama's job is to bring life and harvest, therefore all these pepperonis are because of Nama's great work. The fact that we have so much pizza that we can just start throwing it like they're weapons is all because of Nama's great work. So that's where Nama comes in. She didn't cook the pizza. No, that's left to Maria. That's left to her daughter. Hey. Alright, back at full. I think there was a meat that I picked up and I just didn't notice. Now we're just looking for Enoch. Alright. Yep, we have quite the setup. Oof. Beautiful. Honestly, that meat was perfectly timed. All right. 
right? Oof. Always nice when your pacifist kicks the teeth in. I guess would be the phrasing. Or a way of phrasing it, at the very least. Missed the meat. Oh well, we found Enoch. Whew. Once again, well, we could heal. Actually, you know what? There is a point in daily dallying. If we hit climb up the Sun Tower, and then we face Enoch as our healing once we get to the top. Good. Whoop. Meat ready for us. Should something go wrong? This weapon, I might just kill, if I get to the top, I'm probably just going to face Irad first, because I think I can kill Irad without getting hit, basically. Yeah, this pizza might be the weapon I pick whenever I need to kill bosses, because it's shown to be devastating in just this little time I've played. Then again, this has Amaterasu Sun, Bells, Sir Quetzaliner. This this is also the strongest that, like, one of the strongest boosts I've ever seen. So maybe that's the actual reason why this is so absolutely insane, but... got the story time, but it's a story room, so I'm gonna not go in. Oh my gosh. Chase me under the clouds to get me. Oh my gosh, these things still, that dealt so much damage. Let's not die. Finally, a streamer that kills everyone he sees. Oh, do most streamers not do that? I thought that was what most did, and I was the exception by speedrunning. I'm not sure if that's the joke, or... Slop? Yep. We found pizza. And I needed something better for the boss fight, so... Pizza seemed like... I know a lot of people talked highly about it on the boss fight, but because I got Boxing Bell, I didn't realize it was that highly. We're gonna try it. We don't have to open doors, so that's a positive. Catalyst Steiner and Boxing Bell. 
Irad will just melt. Yep, Nama. We basically damage boost through Nama because we just had so much damage. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find Irad before I go kill Enoch right now. That's my goal right now. Yeah, I know. So, I feel like pizza's been changed since the last time I tested it, I tried it out. Because this is an amazing item, and when I first tried it out, it didn't seem so good. But yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, what, um... What... Status effects I can't apply. And it's really just, like, Spore Burst. Vulnerable. I guess I don't have charged, but I'm not sure to what extent you consider charge a stats effect. I just I would hate to lose my character off of a fight that I wasn't prepared for there. Ooh. Oh, this wasn't the main entrance. Got it. Like, wow, they have a whole theme down there. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna... That didn't feel comfortable. Alright, well, with 95 Resolve... I'm gonna play that safe. Whew. Mana Siphon. Oh, I can't do Mana Siphon. Good point. I mean, only the mage can do Mana Siphon, but that is still a good point. That's still countering my arguments. Whew. Time to test this out. Well. Just beat that horde of charites without spore burst. I'd say that pizza has all the value I need. Alright. Lose no health. Oh, there was, there's this guy up here. They even realized we had an elite. scooby doo boo ba doo boo doo bat You know there's gonna be memes. There has to be. No memes is a not permitted state of events.
What was that name? Yep. I told you it's the scooby the wooby the bop the bop the bat. As an Italian, I would know. Well, we lost some armor. That is definitely unfortunate. So if you stand directly under them, if you have the location of under them available, you will not get hit. Life advice. Tower really gets its worth with that um, burden to increase the size of the castle. This might all this might in additionally be a generally tall like a tall castle on top of that. Because there's differences of how hot tall it could go. But yep. Boop, boop. Hey, armor recovery. Wonder if I got back to full. Likelihood is low, but we'll pray. Let's get this fairy chest. Oh, you survived. There we are. We even left at full health because we're crazy. Alright. Let's kill two ball. Or I mean let's kill Irad, and then we'll kill two ball. Yeah. This is gonna be insane. The amount of damage is gonna be absurd. We're already halfway through. Ah, oh, that doesn't destroy them. Oh well. It's not like that fight's long enough for it to hurt me. And to think, all of this damage, all of this devastating monstrosity that I am, is on a pacifist. Ooh, diamonds. Alright. 
I do not think I'm going down to Duval with this character, because I already have only 95% um, resolve. And if I'm going to Duval, it's to deliver keys, which each take 40 resolve, so... Yep, I think I'm going to end up taking out um, Enoch with this character, and that's going to be it for this character. Find a talent swamp. I think there is a talent swap, like I found early. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Man, hate that those can't get destroyed. Ooh. And hate those freeze frames. go. Just give a sense of how much damage that does. No, I did not cast my spell once. Definitely need a spell shift if I can. Didn't even see that fight much. Whew. Well, that's everyone except Duball now. Alright, hold up. So it's not here. Might be there. That right there. Found it. I think this is the um, resolve shift. Or the talent swap. Not a good talent. Oh my gosh, I have a way to apply Spore Burst now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, now I can just apply Spore Burst. There's money. Yep, thank you, money. Just want to make sure you found me before I disappeared into the Dark Knight. Thank you, actually. <laughs> I want as much resolve as possible. And just finding that immediately after definitely did the job. Alright. I guess we head down. And just down, down, down. break. Sucks to be me. Darn armor shred. There we are. Just kill the person without even having to deal with them. Oh my gosh. Just stand on those ignites them. That's scary. Because that's something that could kill me. So having them auto ignite, it's terrifying. Oh my gosh. Just barely needs more than that.
here. One kick off the head. Oof. Oh, that doesn't knock them away at all! Okay, now I really hate those guys. Those shields are now even more of a nightmare. I don't even know how I'm supposed to deal with them. With this weapon, then. Alright, we're at 4 million gold, which feels good. Just like, it took me a little while, because there were so many zeros, like... Alright, fine. Alright, fine. Hey. Oh my gosh, because they destroy instantly. So. There we go. Alright, we're hoping to get more potions to bring ourselves back to our max. Um. Okay, we're just gonna trigger you guys over there. Because, yeah, I don't know what my armor is supposed to be, but we definitely took some shredding. Like, from two different shredding enemies, so... Probably not back to full. If I were to make a guess. Alright. Whew. But yeah, now that we have all of this resolved... We can definitely... Oh. Yeah, let's not do that. So the thing is, I can't escape that once I trigger it, because... What I was doing is, I was running in, my body was triggering those, and then... Like, it was the entrance, so I had to actually just charge on in, because if I didn't, I'd die. Yeah, if this deck can get to two ball, they can destroy two ball. It's just the question of can they get to two ball? The answer is unlikely, unfortunately. That's the real threat. Oh my gosh, just barely not barely taller than I expected it to be. That's good. Unlikely I'm gonna find a way up. Unless I do it properly. Alright, poison spitters stays alive because they're too much of a hassle to kill. And they're not too high up. So the combination of the two really keeps that from being safe. It's the kills the rock crusher. All right. We do need to land one hit. Oh. Didn't even realize. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's terrifying. All right. You find enemies that won't kill me that I can kill. Or me. That works. A hey. All right. So, now I have to come to a tough decision point. If I grab the um silver key, if I grab this key and then I find the onyx key, 
I have the problem that I have to backtrack, that I can't pick up the onyx key. But if I... You know what? I think I'm going to just clear off most of the rooms along the way, so that if I find the... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I hit the mic there. Um, but I think I'm just going to clear off the rooms, so that I just... If I find the pearl key, I could just run it back. And if I find the ox key, I can do the whole reset trigger. Let us break. Alright. Halfway to 5 mil. Halfway from 4 mil into 5. 4.5. Why don't I just say 4.5 mil? Because I like things complicated. I guess. There we are. Doesn't knock them around at all. Definitely the hardest part of this all. Alright. I'm glad you could stand on those despite being clumsy. Because otherwise that would make this a lot harder. I think it... The shout... Altered the slime trail. As in the slime trail is deflectible. If that's the case, that's good to know. There we go. Yep, here's the onyx key. Alright. So this is why I saved up, because I know where the Onyx door is, and it's near an entrance, which makes it easy to grab the key and bring it to its rightful place. Right, like I said, stand directly below it. It's safe. Alright. Now I'm going to do something that's pretty controversial. I'm pretty sure the correct route... Actually, no. I'm not going to. So I was going to say the correct route is actually to return to main menu as the way to teleport there. And then I grab the pearl key and continue my path. Um, that While well, that is the correct route, you know what's also correct? Just get all the way to the end, grab that teleport. Um, which they're all clunks, clumped up together, so there will be a teleport amongst them. And use that. I'd like that meat, please. Thank you. Right. Yeah, we still need to go down first, and then we'll head right. Ooh. Just realized, yep, I am a... This character is technically a pacifist, so yeah, they have ridiculous amounts of gold. Because they are they have the pacifist gold boost, plus all the other gold boosts I've acquired. Yeah. go low. There. That should be enough. Just need to avoid. You need to die.
Ooh. I don't. Oh, they just weren't dead yet. That's why it hit me. Ooh. Yeah, with this beats up, hammers are not scary. Something to get out before those triggered, but oh well. Oh my gosh. Mill. So even if I don't find a pizza that hits, All right. and we have pizza here, so let's just clear out this room because we have full heal basically when we leave. All right. So here's the pearl. All right, so now we need to find another teleport, which is right here. As I was saying, there's going to be a teleport. All right. That was much closer than I expected it to be. Won't deny that. All right, so we pop that open and we head down and towards that um, the pearl key and with the pearl key we pop up at the other door <gasps> mm. you know there's actually value in taking a detour just to um, just to run into enemies to kill now let's take a slight detour right here gets killed on in the detour because that's what that would have done I think can one shot me at full health Ooh. all right and the best way to get this pearl key is just to teleport over all right well this means that as long as I can find healing for it, this character can finish off New Game Plus 12. So I do want to get some healing, and then I'll face the Pearl Door. I think the best way to get healing is clearly to just go to the entrance, face low-level enemies, butcher them with my pizza. Make meat lovers out of them. Alright. Well, one room was enough for a full heal. Awesome. So now we can go from here. How many... Gosh, how many relics do I have? I have three... Four, five, six, seven, eight unique relics. So after I'm done here, if I want to grab, like, war drums or something... There's value. Yep.
Ooh. Are the weapon pairs randomized? Um, I just, no, I got a bunch of, um, I found a bunch of weapons. So I have, I found, this was a pacifist, and I found a fabled weapon. Um, that was, yeah, that's always a knife and a shield. The other one is, all right, so that's always a knife and a hammer. The other one's always an axe and a shield. Sorry. Yeah, you, that one's always a knife and a weapon. The other one's always an axe and a shield. And I strategize around that. Alright, full health. Keep not having to go far, which is pretty great. Alright, this one's closer to the entrance. And then we just head to the throne. And if we kill two ball with this, I mean, we have the pacifist that killed four bosses and saved the world. Pacifist that got some pizza, that got some meat lovers, and was like, hmm, maybe violence is the answer. Oh yeah, I have no way of knocking that guy around. Well... But yeah, the damage of this guy is incredible. Are you saying that meat causes violence? No. I'm saying that mostly... Uh, most vegans would argue that violence is the reason they don't eat meat. A lot of vegans that I've met have said that. So, it's like, suddenly, hmm, maybe it's worth it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying um, meat causes violence. Don't worry about that. I'm just making... Meat is murder, but murder is also murder. Yeah, psychology. <laughs> oh, no, from the... Psych! Oh, my gosh, Psych. I remember, remember Psych. Oh, my gosh. So, Psych is like a buddy cop drama that the main character is pretending to be um, a psychic because of several reasons. But it was just one of those stupid... They're, they're doing ridiculous things because they can't just tell you, hey, I figured it out. They have to tell you, hmm... Well, if I get a vision, and then through that vision, you figure it out, so, mm, ah, vision, look over there! And I, it's, it's much more hilarious than that, but that's the general consent basis to explain the situ, the hilarious situations that occur. And this pizza allows me to chew through their health. So I now see why people love pizza. I always thought, not worthwhile in the run. But I can see an argument for it now. Alright. So the question is, do we just run around with our head, like a chicken with our heads cut off until it gets cut off? Oh, hold up, hold up. We gotta pet the dragon. Alright. Well... With five million gold, this pacifist gets to finally declare that New Game Plus 12 is done and pacifism is the best trait. Just in case anyone ever wondered if pacifism was... What? No jumping? What do you mean no jumping? I thought it was don't get hit. Since when was this no jumping? Okay. <laughs> Don't know how you're supposed to do that without jumping, but... Okay. Spin kick off your pizza? Well, unfortunately, I have to leave the ground to start spin kicking off my pizza, so... I wonder how many levels I could go up with that amount of gold. Oh, quite a few. I'm sure. 
All right. A second catalyst. And we found it just after we beat the last theme we're probably here to fight. If we keep fighting, it's because we're having fun, not because we actually need to. Oh yeah, weren't there some mini-bosses we can face? Yeah, there were. I'm gonna go hunt scour for those, I think. Alright. Full map completion genocide run as a pacifist. Pog champ. Yep. Agreed. Alright, here we go. Keep in mind that the map is several times big, is 50% larger than it's supposed to be, so full completions will take a while. I'm not sure I have that kind of time. I can literally go find that warg in the Kruguan Plateau to go kill, to go murder myself against. Yeah, just don't get in the crosshairs, and we're good. Careful of the crosshairs, because all those hammers could legitimately get to an area where every single spot on the ground there was affected, and therefore I couldn't do anything. <laughs> pacifist, when you realize the word pacifist contains fist. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a good one, Flying Ragey. The word pacifist contains fist. was one of them. I know there were at least two in this area, so we'll keep going. clumsy at the end there. <laughs> That's a great way to go. That's a great way to go. <laughs> so yeah, the moment I touch it, they all trigger because of pass because of clumsy. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, but that was great. Oh, you can see the moment where I finally get my weapon. <laughs> uh Well, plus 7 levels. But I'm not surprised, just... It's impressive. 429 enemies. 6 million gold. 